we come to the second um, the second uh, lightweight boxing history video and we yeah finished from Bojack from the US um, winning against Sippy Larkin in the third round um, so I'm going to go from there um, the New York title so May the 21st 1943 Bob Montgomery from the US wins on points over 15 rounds against Bojack from the US and that was in New York and then you got November the 19th, 1943, Bojack, revenges and wins and points in the same fashion, 15 rounds point decision against Bob Montgomery, uh, also in New York. May the 3rd, 1944. Bob Montgomery wins in a trilogy here. Um, wins and points over 15 rounds against Bo Jack, again in New York. Uh, so three fights there, uh, all in New York. Bob Montgomery winning two out of the three there for world titles. Then you got March the 3rd, 1944. Just done that one. Um, then we've got June the 28th, 1946. Bob Montgomery wins by KO in the 13th round against Ali Stoltz in New York. Then you've got November the 26th, 1946. Bob Montgomery wins by KO in the 8th round against Wesley Muzon from US in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Then you've got August the 4th, 1947, Ike Williams from the US wins by KO in the 6th round against Bob Montgomery. And that was in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And that was for the undisputed title. So we got the NBA title, which did turn into the WBA later on. Um, so October the 27th, 1943. Sonny Angott wins and points over 15 rounds against Slugger White from the US. And that was in Los Angeles, California for the vacant title. Then March the 8th, 1944, Jean Zarita from Mexico wins and points over 15 rounds against Sammy Angot. The clutch, Sammy the clutch Angot, uh, the man who stopped Willie Pep's unbeaten streak. That was in Hollywood. So Sammy Angot beats Slugger White from the US and then John Zarita from Mexico beats Sammy Angot in Hollywood and then you got April the 18th 1945 Ike Williams wins by KO in the second round against John Zarita from Mexico in Mexico City, Mexico then you got April the 30th 1946 Ike Williams wins in the 8th round, roughly stopping the fight against Enrique Balanos from the US, that's in Los Angeles. You got September the 4th, 1946, Ike Williams wins by KO in the ninth round against Ronnie James from Wales. That was in Cardiff, Wales. Then you've got 
August the 4th, 1947, Ike Williams wins by KO against Bob Montgomery in the sixth round against in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So we got the undisputed title now. So 25th of May 1948, Ike Williams wins on points over 15 rounds against Enrique Balanos. <laughs> yeah, Ike Williams wins over 15 rounds on points against Enrique Balanos. That was in Los Angeles. Then you got huh? Yeah, that Enrique Balanos Ike Williams beats him in Los Angeles. Then you got July the twelfth, nineteen forty eight. Ike Williams wins in the sixth round, roughly stopping the fight against Bo Jack. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Then you've got September the 23rd, 1948. Ike Williams wins by KO in a 10th round against Jess Flores from the US in New York. Then you've got July the 21st, 1949. Ike Williams wins in your 4th round against Enrique Balanos in Los Angeles. Then you've got December the 5th, now December the 5th, 1949, Ike Williams wins on points over 15 rounds against Freddie Dawson from the US in Philadelphia. Then May the 25th, 1951, Jimmy Carter wins in the 14th round, roughly stops the fight against Ike Williams in New York. Then you've got November the 14th, 1951. Jimmy Carter wins on points over 15 rounds against Art Aragon from the US in Los Angeles. Then April the 1st, 1952. Jimmy Carter wins on points over 15 rounds against Laro Salas from Mexico in Los Angeles. May the 14th, 1952, Laro Salas wins on points over 15 rounds against Jimmy Carter in Los Angeles. Then October the 15th, 1952, Jimmy Carter revenges and wins on points over 15 rounds against Laro Salas. Laro Salas from Mexico. And that was in Chicago, Illinois. <coughs> now you're April twenty fourth, nineteen fifty three. Jimmy Carter wins in the fourth round, referee stopping the fight against Tommy Collins from the US in Boston, Massachusetts. I've seen that. There's a lot of knockdowns in that one. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, June the 12th, 1953, Jimmy Carter wins in the 13th round, referee stops the fight against George Arujo from the US in New York. And then November 11th, 1953, Jimmy Carter wins in the fifth round by KO against Armand <coughs> Savio from Canada in Montreal, Canada. And then you got March the 5th, 1954. Paddy DeMarco wins on points against Jimmy Carter over 15 rounds in New York. Then you've got November the 17th, 1954. Jimmy Carter 
wins in the 15th round roughly stopping the fight against Paddy DeMarco that's in San Francisco and you got June the 29th 1955 Wallace Bud Smith of the US wins and points over 15 rounds against Jimmy Carter in Boston Massachusetts then October the 19th 1955 Wallace Bud Smith from the US wins on points over 15 rounds against Jimmy Carter in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, so Wallace Bud Smith wins twice against Jimmy Carter, once in Boston, Massachusetts, and the next in Cincinnati, Ohio. So then you've got Old, old Bones, Joe Brown. So August the 24th, 1956, Joe Brown wins on points over 15 rounds against Wallace Bud Smith in New Orleans. Then you've got February the 13th, 1957. So February the 13th, 1957, Joe Brown wins again against Wallace Bud Smith in the 10th round in Miami, Florida. So Joe Brown wins the title against Wallace Bud Smith in Miami. 15 rounds points decision, then he beats him again, 10th round for every stop in the fight in Miami. So June the 19th, 1957, Joe Brown, Old Bones Joe Brown, wins in the 15th round, referee stop in the fight against Orlando Zuleta from Cuba. That was in Denver, Colorado. Then June the 19th, 1957, Joe Brown, oh, we've done that one, so December the 4th, 1957, Joe Brown wins in the 11th round, roughly stopping the fight against Joey Lopez from the US in Chicago, Illinois. Then May the 7th, 1958, Joe Brown wins in the 8th round, roughly stopping the fight, against Ralph Dupas from the US in Houston, Texas. Then May the 20th, July the 23rd even, July the 23rd, 1958, Joe Brown wins again against Ralph Dupas uh, on the 15 rounds points decision in Houston, Texas again. So February 11th, 1959, Joe Brown wins on points over 15 rounds against Johnny Busso from the US in Houston, Texas. Then June the 3rd, 1959, Joe Brown wins <clears throat> in the eighth round by retirement against Paolo Rossi from Italy in Washington, D.C. Then December the 2nd, 1959, Joe Brown wins by re retirement against Dave Charney five rounds Dave Charney from England that was in Houston Texas October the 28th 1960 Joe Brown wins on points over 15 rounds against Cisco Andrade from the US in Los Angeles
1961, Joe Brown wins again against Dave Charnley from England on points this time over 15 rounds. That was in London, England. Then October 28th, 1961, Joe Brown wins on points over 15 rounds against Bert Somodio from Philippines. Bert Somodio from the Philippines, that was in Q that's in Quezon City, Philippines. Then you've got April the 21st, 1962, Carlos Ortiz from Puerto Rico wins on points over 15 rounds against Joe Brown. That was in Las Vegas, Nevada. And then December the 3rd, 1962, Carlos Ortiz wins. In the fifth round by KO against Teru Kosaka from Japan, as in Tokyo, Japan. Then April the 7th, 1963, Carlos Ortiz wins in a 13th round rapid stop in the fight against Doug Vialant from Cuba. Carlos Ortiz stops him in the 13th round, referee stopping the fight against Doug Valiant from Cuba in San John. And then February 15th, 1964. Carlos Ortiz wins in the 14th round against Flasher Lordi from the Philippines in Manila, Philippines. So, yeah, so we go up here and we got um, April 11th, 1964. Carlos Ortiz wins on points over 15 rounds against Kenny Lane from the US in San Juan. Then April the 10th, 1965, Ismael Laguna from Panama wins on points over 15 rounds against Carlos Ortiz from Puerto Rico. That was in Panama City, Panama. Then November the 13th, 1965, Carlos Ortiz wins on points over 15 rounds against Ismael Laguna from Panama. That was in San Juan. And then June the 20th, 1966, Carlos Ortiz wins in the 12th round, referee stopping the fight against Johnny. Bizarro from the US in Pittsburgh. October the 22nd, 1966, Carlos Ortiz wins in the fifth round, referee stopping the fight against Sugar Ramos from Cuba. That was in Mexico City, Mexico. A riot ensued when Ramos was stopped because of a cut eye. He was ordered to resume the fight and he refused. Two days later, the WBC vacated the title. So November, November the 28th, 1966, Carlos Ortiz wins in the 14th round by KO against Flash Alordi from the Philippines. That was in New York. Then July the 1st, 1967, Carlos Ortiz wins in the fourth round, referee stopping the fight against Sugar Ramos. That was in San Juan. 
put an undisputed title. Then we got August undisputed title there. Then we got August the sixteenth, nineteen sixty seven. Carl Sortes wins on points over fifteen rounds against Ismail Laguna in New York. Then June the twenty ninth, nineteen sixty eight. Carlos Tio Cruz from Dominican Republic wins on points over 15 rounds against Carlos Ortiz and Santo Domingo. That was in uh, Dominican Republic. September the 28th 1968 Carlos Tio Cruz from Dominican Republic wins on points over 15 rounds against Mando Ramos from US and that was in Los Angeles Then February the 18th, 1969, Mando Ramos wins in the 11th round, roughly stopping the fight against Carlos Tio Cruz from Dominican Republic. That was in Los Angeles. And then the last three, so October the 4th, 1969, Mando Ramos wins in the sixth round, roughly stopping the fight against Yoshiaki Numata from uh, Numa, Yoshiaki Numata from Japan in Los Angeles and then just to finish you got March the 3rd 1970 Ismail Laguna wins in ninth round by retirement against Mando Ramos that was in Los Angeles California and then May 1970, WBC stripped Laguna of the title for allegedly breaking a contract to make his first defence for promoter Alien Eaton. Alien Eaton. The following two fights involved only the WBA title. So to finish, we got June the 7th, 1970, Ismail Laguna. Wins in the 13th round, referee stopping the fight against Guts Ishimatsu from Japan, a Roberto Duran opponent. That was in Panama City, Panama. September the 26th, 1970. Ken Buchanan. Wins in the 15th round, roughly stopping the fight against Ismail Laguna. 15 rounds, points decision, absent Sanjong. And the last one, February the 12th, 1971. Ken Buchanan wins on points over 15 rounds against Ruben Navarro from the US in Los Angeles. And that was for the undisputed title. The WBC stripped Buchanan in June in 1971 for signing to meet Laguna instead of the number one challenger, Pedro Carrasco. The British board upheld Buchanan as the world champion, so we're going to start on the WBA title and finish here. September 13th, 1971. For the WBA title, Ken Buchanan wins some points over 15 rounds against Ismail Ishmael Laguna from Panama in New York. Bang, that's the end of the second lightweight boxing title history. Bang.